get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Ashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant so I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in corpsec like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember Mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no! It is happening again! Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk Driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot, ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work, self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. They would prime my fuse, introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no, do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd asked the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard, would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. I'm not sure. Trust me, please. I can do this. Okay, the comma's open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta. All I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memory so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will if you don't let me go. 
I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry. I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. You're still moving, Ranya. Lomo? Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Ranya. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Ranya. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you'd said yes. But debt is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you got to graft that weight to their bones. You understand? No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, actually. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, fifty seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this. I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Ranya. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go.
where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. No more, no less. What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Renya. Why didn't you save him? We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. I knew he would leave. Don't you dare say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush, let's just drive in quiet for a little while. So, I don't really have much food right now. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty oh, big for me and Chemis. 
How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay then, I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Damn. Damn. Driver 14 FC, come in. I'm here. New job available. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. <laughs> 